Hello everybody, Doppelganger TV here with a analog clock that I made here in Minecraft. So, uh, 12 hours are represented here. It goes through 12 hours Minecraft day. Uh, our hand is represented by the glowstone being pushed out by pistons into the water. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hours. Again, so this is all the redstone behind it, which looks like a mess, I know. But it's as organized as I could get it on short notice. I kinda made this today. Um but here's the timing system here. Uh, this one, we can ignore that for now. But there are 250 repeaters here. Uh, each of them is set to four ticks, which is a thousand ticks, which equals about a minute and 40 seconds. Actually, exactly a minute and 40 seconds, which is one twelfth of the Minecraft day, uh, which is five minutes long. So. Yeah. So I'd push a button here, and the signal would come all the way through this maze of redstone repeaters down into this. And here it would pass through this block and only this block. I guess that I think that's a T flip flop. Not sure exactly. But it comes here and activates these two pistons, which we can activate manually too. And the time has been changed to 2 o'clock. So, if you come over to the face of the clock, see that the time indeed is 2 o'clock now. So, basically what happens here is the signal is being inverted, or no, not carried through the glass block. Sorry. Um, all these repeaters are permanently on, and most of these, most of the signals are being carried over, except for one, which is the glass block. So if we follow this one up, we see here that each of these has an inverter on it, and it's a piston inverter. So what happens is the piston extends, and it moves a detector rail out from under the minecart, which deactivates the redstone signal and causes these to move back in like all these other ones so yeah I thought it was a neat idea and nice work around that and this actual system of moving sand and such actually got from some of Seth Blaine's videos I've been watching those a lot recently uh, but as you can see we can move this over by hand through each of the hours move it back to if we want but we don't need to do that right now and each time it changes so right now it should be six o'clock here and indeed it is <laughs> so then a weird thing happens when you get to seven o'clock seven and one each. So as you can see this redstone is not carried over to the clock. It's carried over to this system here. Which I'll show you what it does now. So that's gonna go over. It's gonna come over there and now our pistons are being reset. So I'll show you how that works in a second. And uh, it's really laggy right now. So, I'm actually going to have to add some sand back into that, which is the one downfall of this. Every so often, I have to reset the sand, but not a bad downfall for something. So, how this reset works is, signal comes over here and goes into this inverter, which activates this uh, minecart goes over a detector rail to get only the one thing and the minecart stops over here and this 
series of redstone loops makes it pulse I believe seven times about I don't know six or seven and then it also takes from the last pulse comes back over here to reset the minecart system and comes up here and over and it moves this so that it's all safe and sound actually yep should work so that one might need some more delay uh, but it moves this dirt block so that only this side is active at the time and it also takes the signal here and gives it an additional pulse to bring it over to 7 o'clock so as we see it's now 7 o'clock it's all nice and works right now so I'm going to show you the face of the clock as that happens so we aren't going to use this massively long chain so instead I have a nice smaller one that takes about 16 seconds as soon as I push this button so show you how the clock face looks while this is going on so now all we have to do is wait and there it is it's switched over to 8 o'clock now uh, we can see the redstone signals coming in through here comes over here and sets good to these two pistons moves it over it's now 9 o'clock and it is 9 o'clock here so now it's going to be 10 and you can see the pistons moving out now coming into 11 we'll follow this up and that's moved we can watch this thing now because this is 12 it's gonna get reset in just a second so that piston pulls in brings the detector rail with it and therefore inverse the signal so now it's going on to one o'clock and like I said that's another weird one so you are gonna see exactly what happens to the clock here so first off it goes away that back pedals through all the times and I'll show you what that's caused by in a sec and it's one o'clock now Ah, wow. So that effect was caused by this line being reset. It was all the way over here, and the pulsar over there caused it to go through the entire way. So that caused that effect there. So there you go. That's my nice analog clock. I hope you guys enjoyed.